Hello, I'm Medina Long, and I'm the director of Portland Parks and Recreation. Over 100 years after the first Portland Arbor Day celebration, the city continues its commitment to protecting, preserving, restoring, and equitably expanding the urban forest. Arbor Day is a chance to recognize the individuals and organizations that work to plant and protect the trees that are so important to our community. Your commitment to enhancing, maintaining, and expanding our urban forest makes this city healthier and safer for all Portlanders. Today, October 16th, 2020, I encourage you to celebrate Arbor Day, celebrate the trees around us, and celebrate those who care for them. I'll see you in the parks. We are pleased to announce this year's Bill Nato Community Trees Award winners. This award is presented by the Urban Forestry Commission each Arbor Day to honor the work of individuals, organizations, or projects that exemplify the spirit and dedication of its founder, Bill Nato, a lifelong tree advocate. Award winners are recognized for tree-related volunteer activities that have raised awareness of the importance of our city's urban forest. The individual winner is Linda Robinson. Linda has been an advocate for Portland Parks for many years and a vocal advocate for Trees for All. We recognize her efforts promoting, protecting, and expanding access to parks and trees in Portland. Thank you for decades of tireless dedication which have and will benefit many generations of Portlanders. The group winner is the Tree Emergency Response Team. The Tree Emergency Response Team brings awareness to trees that may be at risk of being removed during development with a unique approach through art. By engaging the public, property owner, or even a developer to the beauty and community surrounding these trees, their hope is that the trees can be incorporated into a design instead of being removed. We recognize and thank the Tree Emergency Response Team for bringing awareness to trees at risk for removal through art a language for all Portlanders. My name is John Tepley. I'm the Executive Director of the uh, uh, Elizabeth Jones Art Center. And on behalf of the Tree Emergency Response Team, I would like to thank the uh, Urban Forestry Commission for uh, being, for giving us an award this year for our work concerning trees. I am Hideko Tamra Snyder, founder of One Sunny Day Initiatives, having survived the Hiroshima bombing. I have dedicated my life to the promotion of peace. One of the projects that has been closest to my heart is the Green Legacy Hiroshima Project, which began when members of Green Legacy Hiroshima in Japan gifted our organization with precious ginkgo, persimmon, and camphor seeds and others from trees which miraculously survived the bombing. We are filled with joy by your interest and support for the Hiroshima peace tree to be with you and in your community. Hi, I'm Maya. What happened 75 years ago in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was very sad, not only for Japanese, but for people across the world. I hope that with the seeds of trees that survived this event, we can let people know the history and remind ourselves the desire to have hope. Konnichiwa, Maya desu. Hi, uh, this is Martin Nicholson. I'm the curator at Portland Parks and Recreation's Hoyt Arboretum. Uh, we're located in Washington Park and um, we are a global collection of trees. We have over 2,000 species of trees and we're really happy today to um, plant this Diospirus kaki, a Japanese persimmon that is one of the Hiroshima survivor trees. Um, it's going to make a great addition to our persimmon grove in the Ebenaceae family here along the Maple Trail. Um, I encourage you to come up and give it a visit sometime. 